Weather is top of mind for many tonight with a rain warning in effect for our area due to the remnants of Hurricane Barrel and pervasive heat this summer. As Julie Sharp tells us, Environment Canada is using a new system to see if there's a link between the heat and climate change. Scorching hot temperatures in our area this week and many people are loving it. The uh, kids got to do a pop-up and play center and it was a perfect weather for it today because there's not a lot of sun and uh, the weather seems quite comfortable. Mina Prochus, who's visiting from Ottawa, says he wasn't expecting this heat, but he'll take it. I'm so shocked on how there is no sun, but it's so hot. So, I mean, it's good. Summer doesn't come that often in, in Canada, so we're going to enjoy it. Anything over 20 is too hot for me. I'm here at Spencer Smith Park. A lot of people are out riding their bikes, walking their dogs, of course, staying by the waterside, doing whatever they can to stay cool. You know, I thought I made the mistake of wearing this long sleeve shirt, but the clouds are making it more manageable, and some people seem to agree. Right now it's not that hot, but like before it was hotter, but now it's pretty good. Is it bearable? Yeah, it's bearable. Environment Canada is taking a closer look at extreme temperatures like those experienced today and during last month's heat event. It released its results from a new rapid extreme weather event attribution system. That system helped them determine that human-caused climate change increased the likelihood of high temperatures in mid-June. Our finding was that an event like this was made at least two to 10 times more likely by human caused climate change. And in our calibrated language, that means it was much more likely than, than it would have been in the absence of human caused climate change. Scientists say the new system will be used to analyze all kinds of extreme weather, including extreme cold. Even with climate change, if we expect extreme cold events to occur less often, we will still have extreme cold events, um, and this system would be able to provide attribution for that. As for this week's heat, we'll get a break tonight with heavy rain in the forecast. Julie Sharp, CHGH News, Burlington.